NBC and CNN refuse to air my victory speech, then frankly, they should have their licenses or whatever they have taken away. The New York Times is one of the most dishonest of all. When you see what I'm going to do with them, you're going to have so much fun. ABC took a big hit last night. I mean, to be honest, uh, they're a news organization. They have to be licensed. Now, the media has long been a bugbear for Donald Trump, but he has now escalated the stakes. He says that if he comes back to power, he's going to prosecute the media, or at least the media that has been critical of him. Are you worried that if Trump comes to power, he's going to come after the media in the way that, that we are seeing in other countries, including you and others? You think so? Well, as for me, the Trump people have openly called me out my name and threatened me. Okay. One guy who wants to be Trump's Attorney General, Mike Davis, tweeted that once I'm Attorney General, the first thing I will do is send Mehdi Hassan to Guantanamo Bay. Like, this is the stuff they say openly. For the first time in 36 years, the Washington Post will not endorse a presidential candidate this election. Obviously, what in fact happened in both cases was the editorial boards, which are liberal, wrote up an endorsement of Kamala Harris and sent it to the owner. And the owner looked at it for a while and said, ah, this is too much trouble. Trump has said if he comes back to power, he's going to go after some of these news outlets like New York Times. And, and he so should. On. And he yeah. should. It's a typical authoritarian uh, playbook, actually. You know, mm. this control the press, can control the narrative. You know that he would, he would uh, dismantle the, mm. the, the press.